What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So let's see who needs this reading. I also did post on Snapchat today if you guys want to go check that out. It's in my description box. Cancies. Can you see that? What's up Cancer? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Cancer as a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. So, Cancies, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do what needs improvement. Obviously, by the title, you can see that. And I'm going to pull two different decks just to get two different perspectives off of the energy. Okay? I'm going to pull an oracle, and then we're going to clarify. Cancer Spirit, what does Cancer need to improve on? Ah, yeah, I got two cards. So you have creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Mm. And align your life. What needs, what is not aligned or needs to change. So Cancers, from this standpoint, bottom of the deck is the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hit soul tribe. I feel like um, you're like, again, it's kind of like, if you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, you could be, but Capricorn got to kind of have the same reading where it's kind of like your faith. They want you to improve your faith a little bit because I feel like good things are happening to you right now and you're not really seeing it. Okay. I also feel like um, there are, it's, it's on its way to you, which is probably why you can't see it for some of you. Um, what is not aligned or needs to change? There's something that needs to change and you're not kind of addressing it i don't know i feel like what you don't see coming is your intuition is going to like you're gonna get like an intuitive nudge i don't even know how else to say that without it sounding how it sounds um but you're really gonna get an intuitive nudge here about who the people are that you're supposed to have in your circle who you're supposed to be around that's what i'm getting all right, let's see. Creating heaven on earth, spirit. You have the seven of wands in reverse, the devil in reverse, and the eight of pentacles. Mm. So, it's it's kind of like you guys have released some either negative thinking or something that was very negative in your life, okay? And you guys stopped, you know, you let something go. You stopped defending yourself for it. You're like, you know what? I don't even care. Eight of Pentacles. And you started putting some work in here. But you started putting some work in in a certain energy. And you feel like you're not getting it. This, it you're not getting what you're putting out. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in reverse. You are. You are. I feel like the universe is, is just saying, keep focusing on you with the Nine of Pentacles here. Keep doing things that satisfy you and that materialistically can help you advance. Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's people here that I'm getting more, they don't appreciate what you're doing and what you're giving. Seven of Swords is in reverse, but there's, woo, what the fool. There's going to be something that's going to be, that you're going to find out with the Seven of Swords that is going to catapult you into a new beginning. That's why the universe is kind of like, just relax, have faith. I know it looks sticky and a little dark right now and a little like, wow, you guys are really doing this, but just hold on there. Just hold on there because you got something coming. This fool, there's, no, there's a new beginning here. It's a new chapter for you. Let's see what's this align your life. When you, the star in reverse. This is Aquarius energy. What else? The Wheel of Fortune. What else? Something is fated to change in your life, Cancers, whether you want to or not, in the Hermit in reverse. In the Hermit in reverse, and you don't want this to change. The Queen of Cups is here. But it needs to, my love. Six of Cups, yep. And the Three of Wands in reverse. And you're dragging your feet. You can take as long as you need to. There is no rush for this. Absolutely not. But this is fated to happen with the wheel of fortune this change that you know needs to happen within yourself this is, this is like a transformation like the tower or the devil card in the regular tarot 
but you're, you just don't want to see it for whatever reason you don't and I feel like it's because you don't want to heal and with the queen of cups is here it's kind of like get in tune with your emotions with your emotional side I think the moon right now is in Taurus I don't know when it's going to be in Cancer but you guys should definitely look that up because that full moon for you and Cancer and Cancer is really going to help you release all of these emotions that you have because you're refusing to change because you're scared. You don't you, you don't you don't want to be uncomfortable the the it's like you, it's like you're becoming a different person and that probably scares you. Because I've been through the situation, Cancies, and I know it's difficult, especially to dig yourself out of something that a certain way, a certain characteristic that you have about yourself that you've always done the same way. And you know now you've enlightened and you're like, oh, you know, this isn't this isn't healthy. Like I shouldn't be doing this. I should become better. Um, and now the universe is telling you, like, now it's time to improve that now is the time to prove that one thing about yourself that you know needs to you know what i'm saying needs a little buffering okay as well as your um your faith that everything is gonna like you know keep that faith up all right let's get another perspective cancer spirit hope you guys are having a great day and enjoying um the weather if it's nice out if it's rain i love rain i love thunder i love lightning i don't know why but i do and just rain is just like cuddly weather like i just love it it's watch a movie get underneath the covers and just hang out i love lazy days all right let me stop talking what does cancer need to improve on spirit? Double mission, challenging and uplifting humanity. Wow. This message is not for everyone. I'm going to say that right now. But I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be able to resonate with that. The great gathering, it's all coming together. Intuitive hits soul drive. You guys saw me shuffle that, right? This is the second time this card came out. Cancer, a lot of you are going through. <clears throat> wow, I can't look at that. I'm getting choked up. A lot of you guys are going through a transformation right now that it's really going to change your whole entire life. Letting you know right now. And this is going to be such an emotional thing for you because, one, being cancers, you guys are just the nurture. You guys are like the mother, the nurturing mom and dad of the zodiac sign. And if you guys haven't um, been living in that energy, you're they're asking you to start doing that in whatever way that is, okay? Uplifting humanity. You have, a lot of you guys have again because this is like sensitive stuff right not everybody is spiritual that watches me so i try to not um always only talk about spiritual but uh, that's all i that's just, that doesn't that doesn't that's all i know but like that's what i go by now i'm more spiritual than anything i am spiritual um but i'm gonna just say to you guys how i'm how i'm getting it all right and if it fits for you it does if it doesn't it doesn't you guys have, we all come down here with a purpose, with a mission, right? Mine is here to help you guys, to guide you guys, to give you guys advice. You, you guys also have the same thing. You guys have, that's why you were born under the sign cancer. Because you guys are, you guys know how to nurture and take care of something. Okay, you know how to do that. And the universe wants you to start doing that for others. Basically. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing for giving me the words to say because I was like, <laughs> all right. Let's see. What is this? The high priest system of ours. Oh, your intuition is telling you. So why don't you want to do that? I'm going to ask because I'm getting you don't want to. Seven of Cups is here. Four of Cups. What else for this Pilates and the Six of Swords? <laughs> Pattern of the deck is the fool. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on. Let's let's ask why 
you guys don't want to do this because i'm curious you guys could have pisces in your chart or a water sign cancer i mean or scorpio obviously cancer right <laughs> why doesn't cancer want to do this yeah look at look at the card that came out it flew out out of the deck the death card transformation five of wands yeah you feel like this this transformation look at that five 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 pen five of pentacles with the five of wands you feel like this um who i'm getting um i'm getting shivers all over um seeing hold on guys because Whew. I feel like you guys are, you feel like this change, this transformation is going to be difficult. You do. And you're like, no, 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 no. That's too hard. I don't got time for that. It is going to be difficult, Cancer. I'm not going to lie to you. You're absolutely right. It is. But it is worth it. I really can't say nothing much but that. I've been in your shoes. I've been here. I know how it feels. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you might even slip up sometimes and go back to the old you mm -hmm. but as long as you catch yourself that's all that matters there, there, there is no mistakes there is no right or wrong where where no one's perfect right so if you make a mistake and no one's perfect is it really a mistake no it's just a chance for you to do it again and better there's this word mistake i don't like mistakes you can't mess this up can't see if that's what you're scared of you can't you you're a cancer you're a nurturing person that's who you are it's in your blood it's in your bones and once you like i said we all come down here already with with a plan already set right and that's where our intuition comes and tries to nudge us and guide us into the path that we're supposed to be going on now you can absolutely divert yourself with free will and choose another path and not listen to your intuition. But is it going to be as great and amazing as the one that you were sent down here for? No. Are you going to go through a lot more challenges and hardships? Yes. So it's up to you, right? But I feel that you're, you're antsiness. But the universe is like, it's all coming together, okay? Your intuitive hits, like a lot of you guys are getting these like, these intuition hits and you're like what 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 like these idea idea ideas ideas are coming out of nowhere and you're just like what no get out of here like you're like dismissing them but you need to hold into them call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval there's people in your energy that you need to that you need to cut off because they could be pulling you down with them i'm gonna be honest here these people um not that they intentionally are doing it but they're not doing what they have to do you know they don't they're not doing their homework right their soul homework so they could be bringing you down because you have soul homework to do here and you're and it's not like you're not doing it it's on your desk and you're like yeah i'll look back to that the universe is like no right now with the high priestess in reverse and the seven of pentacles it's like you're not listening to your intuition because you feel like you have a whole bunch of options you feel like you have all of these other things that you could do but with the seven of cups it's an illusion what you really think is there is not really there i know that's really hard to believe but believe that the four of cups I'm sorry, the Four of Cups and the Six of Wands. I had my wisdom tooth removed like four days ago, and I'm still a little, you know, whatever. So if you see me like talking weird, that's why. Um, but what you don't see coming is that you're gonna that you're gonna be able to move forward. You're in an energy of rocky waters right now, okay? And things you might feel pressured. Don't feel pressured. Don't sit on this for another three months, but you know, don't feel pressured. If you, if you, I'm telling you, this is for you. This is literally what you are brought here to do is to help others, uplift others, nurture others in whatever way that is for you. And it's going to make you feel good, Cancy. It's like you're probably, whatever this is, it's probably good. It, it probably could start off as a hobby or something on the side. It doesn't have to be. But it's literally going to make you feel good doing whatever this is because that's what you were meant to come down. We're all, we're all meant to come down here and help each other. Everyone in, in their own unique way. But 
we're all meant to come down here and help each other because we're all going through the same situation. We're all going through lessons. We're all trying to win this life, these life lessons that this that we came down here to learn. So why not help each other while we're doing that? Why not guide each other while we're doing that? Why not uplift each other while we're doing that? That's one of the reasons why I got into tarot because I, I felt like I wasn't... I always felt like there was something that I was supposed to be doing that I never did. I always felt like there was something that I, like, I, I could be doing more. I always felt that. And I love to help people. And then I fell into tarot, and it's like I'm never looking back ever again. This is, I'm going to be 50 years old on this camera. So, um, but yeah, that's all that I have for you, Cancer. All right. I hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation. And yeah. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.